In the last two parts, I showed you how to create walls, floors and roofs in Bricks CAD BIM. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can add doors and windows to your design. I'm going to begin by drawing a design on the front wall in polysolids. If you're unfamiliar with our 2D drawing tools, please check our tutorials. I'm now going to select these two boundaries and extrude out to create doorways. Select the rest of the boundaries and using the BIM Window Create tool, convert them to windows, single pane. Now let's reveal the second floor. This time I'm going to insert a window from the standard components library. I can use the dynamic dimension boxes to position the window in place. When I hit control, I can change the dimensions of the window. On this side, I'm going to use a rectangle and our intelligent snapping to create a window that's perfectly in line. Again, I'm going to access the BIM window create command and convert to a two pane window. Here, I want the whole wall to be glazed, so I'm going to access the BIM curtain wall command. Blink and you'll miss it. Here, I'm going to insert another component library window. Again, using control and the dynamic dimension boxes to change the dimensions of the window. I only need to fill half of this wall with glazing, as the other half will be completed with the door. Now reveal the rest of the building. If I use BIM insert, I can duplicate components, even if I created them myself or manipulated them. As a finishing touch, I'm going to add a porthole window at the top. Using a circle, selecting the boundary and accessing the BIM window create command. Notice in the structure browser that none of the correct spatial data is assigned to the windows. That's easy to fix. Simply select, enter the properties menu and assign the correct building and floor information. Now reveal the bottom floor. I'm going to add doors. Adding doors is very much like adding windows in BricsCAD. Simply click and drag. I'm 
You'll notice that the ground floor is looking quite empty. This is going to be a shop, and we're going to cover this in a later video. These doors aren't orientated the way I would like, so I'm going to use BIM Flip to change that. Now show the second floor, and repeat the steps with the rest of the doors. When I insert the door here, I'm going to hit control and change the dimensions. Notice that the frame doesn't really match the window. The good news is all of our components are parametric. Simply enter the properties panel and change the desired dimensions. With the manipulator tool, I'm going to finish off this wall. The door might look a little strange here, but I'm going to show you how to add stairs to the exterior later. Again, I'm going to use the BIM insert command to repeat the door. Now that they're both in, I'm going to change the position. BricsCAD intelligently computes where to remove the material and where to reinsert it if you move the components. I'm now going to repeat the commands to finish off the final floor. Again, I'll need to assign the correct BIM spatial information. As a final touch, I'm going to complete the garage. And there you have it, a house with walls, floors, a roof, windows and doors, all created in BricsCAD BIM. Thank you for watching.